good example, at any rate, of um, how a, a state legislature can take up, you know, a federal federal law. And I have copies of that if you're interested. And then finally, um, actually yesterday, up at the Association of Oregon Counties, I attended the Public Lands uh, Subcommittee. And Clackamas County Commissioner Tootie Smith had prepared for one of the agenda items in the morning at Public Lands, a discussion about uh, the state legislature in Utah uh, taking up an effort to get uh, the transfer of public lands um, to the state of Utah. And they have an argument about how that could get done. And Commissioner Smith was asking the Association of Oregon Counties to endorse an effort to do the same sort of thing in Oregon through the Oregon legislature. Um, and what I thought was particularly interesting about that conversation was some of the analysis by AOC staff. Um, and so just read you a couple things that Gil Riddell wrote. Uh, this issue raises several questions for AOC to consider. Uh, AOC for the audience's association of Oregon counties. Um, one, ultimate resolution of this issue will most likely require both legislation and litigation. Does AOC have the commitment, resources, and stamina to pursue this long-term endeavor? In the case before you tonight, I think, you know, the, the, there are grassroots organizations who clearly are uh, willing to take on the commitment to this, uh, this particular issue. Um, Utah's, the second question was, Utah's success or failure will provide the test case. Is it better wait to for conclusion of its effort before stepping in? I think this is sort of an interesting question in light of your <coughs> issue before you because there is a request to the Supreme Court to hear the federal case that uh, was described in our earlier presentation to you and is outlined in your, in your documents tonight. But, there was, of course, a case in the federal courts that um, uh, you know, found, the judge found that uh, certain sections, 1021 and 1022 of NDAA, were indeed uh, unconstitutional. That was appealed to the second court of appeals that overturned the lower court ruling and, and vacated that request vacated that case, and that vacation is sort of important because that's a term that essentially means that that case is no longer, it's almost like it was never here heard. But that second uh, Circuit Court of Appeals ruling was then appealed to the Supreme Court. It's a little bit unclear to me whether the Supreme Court will take that case up or not, but it may be something we keep our eyes on in terms to this question, is it better to wait for the conclusion of its 